Hello, my name is Horacio. 70% of Earth is covered with water. 30% is terrestrial surface. 40% of the terrestrial surface has been modified by food system activities, such as input production, food production, transport, retail, and disposal. The environmental impacts of food production are severe. In 2017, 821 million people were still undernourished. However, food production can be different. Food systems can provide more than just food. It depends on how we manage them. How much better is one food system as compared to the other? This was the big question that we wanted to answer. The Agroecosystem Service Capacity Index is a simple tool to assess the capacity of farms to provide agroecosystem services. It works in a rather simple way. First, you map all the land cover classes of a farm. For example, this area in this farm will be horticulture production. Over there would be water harvesting. Uh, over there would be food or production for cows. And each land cover class has a different function. So we assess the capacity of each land cover class to provide 23 services. For example, this land cover class here, horticulture production, has a capacity to provide food plus other services. We have applied this tool in Bolivia and Kenya. And for example, in Bolivia, we can see that an agroecological food system can provide at least three times more benefits to society and nature than an agroindustrial food system. Agroecological food systems can provide food, capture CO2, provide healthy working opportunities, form soil. There's many benefits that agroecological food systems can provide to nature and society. In times of global climate crisis, we have to have food systems that can provide food plus other agroecosystem services.